assalamu alaikum uh, in this video i'm going to discuss about the data communication and computer networks so first we will briefly look at the communication model it requires five major things that is a source that generates data to be transmitted then a transmitter which is used to convert data into a transmittable signal then we need a carrier data that transmission system which carries the data and a receiver that converts receive signals into data and the destination that takes the incoming data these are the five main things which are present in a communication model now let's look at the diagram of simplified communication model you can see the source the transmitter the transmission system the receiver and the destination and if you look at these the bottom pictures you can see that uh, source can be a workstation transmitter can be a modem which is a modulator and a demodulator which basically is a transceiver then we need a carrier like public telephone network and then on the other end a destination and you again need a modem and a server or a workstation or a laptop so this is the basic simplified diagram of communication model now if you look at this the data communication versus the network networking so communication can be between two nodes but for networking you need to have two or more nodes but it has more issues of routing and addressing which have to be catered what are computer networks networking deal with the technology and architecture of the communication networks used to interconnect communicating devices and a computer network is a collection of autonomous computers interconnected by a single technology so this is what computer network is and if you take net uh, internet then it's uh, basically can be called as network of networks where hundreds and thousands of networks are connected to each other which today we call internet so that is the inter network of networks now we like at, let's look at the types of networks type of network can be point to point versus a broadcast and uh, circuit switched versus the packet switched and then we have local area networks metropolitan area networks and wide area networks known as lan man and wan if you look at the communication network it is like a com network is a set of interconnected devices that provide data transmission facilities between user and points you can see a cloud here which shows a lot of resources and networks which is basically connecting different users to it and making things available a network model as we discussed earlier about the communication model need to have a source system and the destination system and a transmission system which can be a local area network or other type of network such as wide area networks and so on the objective of networking is to share and exchange data between these systems to share expensive resources today we heard a lot about cloud computing the cloud computing is basically is sharing of resources resources which are available to you through cloud computing to facilitate communication among humans and machines this was the third objective okay network can be classified by the area they cover that means that the size of the network so we have four different first one is called pan personal area network which is normally very small then we have lan you have, must have heard a lot of about it and it's a local area network which comprises uh, in a which can be in a room a building or a campus then we have man metropolitan area network which covers the city or a region and then wide area network which covers a country or a continent 
so these are the four networks sizes which are available and your network can be classified accordingly normally in a, a labs we have uh, land the local area network implemented as mentioned earlier the local area network is a computer network intended to link computers and associated devices within a small geographical area the maximum size can be uh, can not exceed exceed five kilometers and the link computers may include large computers word processors or desktop computers is plus we can have network printers and plotters scanners etc the local area network is normal you know, normally offers much higher data than the wide area networks this this difference is apparent in network oriented protocols at application level land provides the sharing of the resources like program files printer and plotters that is why it is very popular in industry there are multiple land topologies topology is one of the issue that must be considered when selecting a land technology it defines the interconnection of the stations to from the network so these can be classified as broadcast topology and store and forward topology so the topologies are basically can be wired and wireless and a topology is a layout of how a network communicates with different devices so we see that computers connected in a topology called star topology here we can see there is a central device a hub a router and multiple workstations or computers are connected to it and if we look at this topology all the data transmission through are going through the central hub so so if a connection from a hub to a computer a workstation is disconnected only that computer is affected and the remaining part of the network keep operating but the disadvantage of this is that if the central hub or switch is down then what happens is that network cannot operate entirely the second topology is the ring topology as you can see in the figure that it is collected in, in, a, in a round or circle form and the data travels from one system to another the advantage is that the ring topology can be very easy to install but nowadays it is it is rarely used at is uh, and uh, the disadvantage of it is that if and the disadvantage is that if a system is uh, down then the whole network comes down or a cable breaks then the system is down so it is basically a uh, not very reliable the third topology is called bus topology and you can see here that the data travels on a bus in bus topology we use a coaxial cable and bnc connector which are very important and you need to have a terminator at the ends so if there is no terminator then the signals will bounce back and this will disturb the whole network and data will be lost another topology is called mesh topology you can see here that uh, data traveling between these four systems connected in this mesh topology has multiple paths basically every system has three connections and the advantage again of this topology is that uh, if for any reason a connection is down even then the systems can send and receive data from the other connections available you can see it here so the connection between the network is not lost but uh, as it is very expensive so it is not often applied or implemented in the local area and is very useful for the wide area network such as internet which is comprised of many networks which are interconnected through routers and switches as you can see on the screen and data travels across and in case any router or switch fails the what happens is that the data is rerouted through other routers so this is very useful in the internet so the mesh topology and now we are going to discuss about the infrastructure 
of uh, wireless topologies so first we look at this one where you can see that there is a modem which is connected to a router switch and two wide computers are connected to it so this was the basic uh, network which is connected to the internet through this uh, modem but once you want wireless devices to be connected to this to so what you need to do is basically you need a wireless access point WAP which can be connected to this switch and then the signals are broadcasted it's a Wi-Fi device and the devices such as laptops and tablets or cell phones can be connected to it so any device connected wirelessly or wired to this network can use internet so finally we have wireless mesh topology in which if we want to connect different wireless devices to a router and then to the internet what you need is that you can connect wireless access points if, if you consider this a uh, building with different rooms and areas and you just deploy the Wi-Fi's on different floors and different locations and connect them with a the cable to the router the the wires are connected wire, uh, Wi-Fi devices are connected through cables and the devices wireless devices can be connected to this network using wireless access points and uh, there are many advantages and disadvantages mostly advantages that you can do is you can connect a wireless device to this router and the remaining devices are not connected wired by wire to this router but they are connected through uh, connected to each other wirelessly just like a mesh device so if a laptop is connected to a device on this location the data can be routed through this second device to the modem and if for any reason any of these devices wireless devices fails the connection between this laptop and the modem which is connected to the internet will be routed through different access points okay thank you